Okay, part four, time to make our first shape in Maya. And this is going to be something that will represent a floor in our little room. So first thing I want to do is make sure that we are on the modeling menu set. So that's this one here. Make sure you're on modeling and also make sure you're on the modeling shelf, the poly modeling shelf, so that we're on the same page moving forward. In Maya, there are lots of different ways to do everything. There are at least three ways, I think, to do anything. So I'm gonna try and show you different ways. I'm not aiming to show you necessarily the best or fastest. I'm just trying to introduce you to lots of different things so that you've got a good understanding and then you can make your own decisions. With that said, the first thing we're gonna do is create a polygon plane, which is just like a flat 2D square. And we're gonna do that from the Create menu. So if we go to Create up here, you'll see that you've got polygon primitives and we want to create a plane. And you will see that that is created on the grid, in the center of the grid, in your viewport. The next tool I would like to introduce you to is the resize tool, which is this one here, the scale tool. So you can click on that or you can press R on your keyboard. The reason it's R is because these first four tools, one, two, three, four, are the top four keys on the top row of your keyboard. So it's Q, W, E, and R. And that's why the scale tool is set to R. Okay, so when you turn that tool on, you will see that you get all these different manipulators and they all do something different. So they're color coded and that should show you using this thing in the bottom corner here, it will tell you what they relate to in terms of which axis. So if I drag on this red one, that's going to scale it on the X axis. And then I'll press Control and Z to undo that. I can scale it on the Z axis and I could try scaling it on the Y axis, but it won't do anything because this is just a 2D shape. What we can also do is we can scale it on two axes. Now, in this case, if I scale it on the green one, that means that it will scale on the other two axes. So it will keep Y the same, but scale on X and Z. So if we do that, there we go. And the same for these, but again, because this is only a 2D shape, it doesn't work the same. And then the last one is this one in the middle is all axes at once. So if we click and drag on that, that's what it will do. So you can see that that now is going up to about the size of the grid is what we're going to go for just as a rough guide. So that is the scale tool. But I also want to show you that you can resize by typing numbers in as well if you want to do that. So what we need to do is get the channel box open. So because we opened the modeling workspace, that's now disappeared. To get it back, what we're going to do is press Control and A on the keyboard and press it a couple of times and it will pop up. And what I'm gonna to choose to do is just drag it over here. In fact, let's put it there. I'm gonna drag it so that we get a tab here. So I've now got attribute editor, modeling toolkit, and channel box all placed over here. We can see that it's called pplane one. This is its name here. And it's got some attributes. So it's currently sized to 24.004 units on mine. And what I would like it to be is 25 exactly, just because that seems to be the size that the grid is set to. So we'll set it to 25 by oh, 25 by 25. And that is actually a little bit bigger than the grid. Maybe the grid's set to 24. 24 by 24 by 24. Yeah, that's better. So that's now the same size as the grid. Lovely. The last thing I want to do then, now that we've resized it in a couple of different ways, is just show you how to rename it. You should rename everything as soon as you create it in Maya because you can quickly get hundreds of shape that you don't know what they're called. So try and get into the habit of renaming things as quickly as you can every time you create something. So what I'm going to do is just click here and it's called P Plane One. I'm gonna rename that to Floor, which seems a good name for it because it is in fact a floor. And just while I'm here, I'll show you one more thing. We've got this input section. Clicking on inputs does nothing, but if you click on polyplane one, it brings up some settings. So again, you can resize it here to the width and height, and you can also set how many subdivisions it's got. That's these lines that divide it into smaller squares. 
And for this, because it's just going to be a flat floor, to save on geometry, I'm going to set it to 1 and 1. And you can see there are now no subdivisions on there. That, then, is our floor. We're done with that. I'm happy with it. It's the best goddamn floor I have made all day. And I have made tons of floors. So, yeah, we've done well. We are really, really motoring through this. Well done. Right, next one. We're going to be getting to grips with navigating in Maya. So how we move around a scene. So rotating, zooming, panning, dollying, all that good stuff. So if you're excited about controlling a camera in 3D space, I know I'm going to see you in the next video. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.